Hello, everybody. Um, it's a nasty snow day out, and, uh, well, like usual. Here, take a look. Look at that. It was nastier yesterday, I admit, but it's still only, like, five degrees out. So, as you see, it's not the perfect weather to go for my daily walk. I go for about a three-mile walk a day, every day, except this weather is, like, keeping me indoors, and it's really bumming me out. So, I thought we would have some opinions today. And my opinion, this is going to sound so stupid, but hear me out, okay? The Kardashians. If anybody had, like, a guilty pleasure about watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians, it was me. I usually like to see rich people get, it like, in train wrecks. And that makes me feel happier about my whole life. Whatever. So... But lately, it's funny, if you watch the evolution from, like, the first episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians to the last one, and now their Hulu show, they have turned into the most opulent, rich, weird people that you've ever seen. Selfish, materialistic. It's, it's really sad to watch this family start from something kind of, like, loving and turn into rich assholes. She's like got the jiggles. Mom, she's always had an ass. Where did this come from? Well, a little hey, cardio. What are you talking about me? <laughs> that is so like catty of you. What are you talking about? She said you have a lot of junk in your trunk. I meant outside <clears throat> in your car. There's some Good. stuff in your car. We need to get out. So they started out kind of cracking jokes and stuff and this smallish compared to now house in Calabasas. And then we have shared the ordinary and extraordinary. Let the Lord be with you! Our triumphs. I got the Victoria's Secret fashion show. He looks like a model. He looks like a model? <laughs> and our tragedies. Like, this is my life. If the elevator does not open in time, I'm Now we are upon our 20th season and still have so much more of our journey to share. This is Keeping Up With The Kardashians, our farewell season. Kylie, Cardi wants to say hi to you. Hi. You look so good. I'm so excited. Thank you. Yes. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Of course. Babe, yes. you don't understand. I, I pray. Aww, that's the highlight of my career. Oh. In less than a decade, the Kardashian Jenners have become the world's richest and most talked about socialites. From an immensely successful TV show to multiple business ventures, the clan has stacked up millions to their name, with some family members even entering the Forbes Billionaire Club. Currently, it seems like the famous family's enormous net Kylie is worth an estimated $900 million, making her supremely close to reaching billionaire status once again. Number 1. Kim Kardashian With a current net worth of $1.8 billion, Kim Kardashian is the wealthiest member of the world-famous clan. The 42-year-old socialite has come a long way from being a cast member on KUWTK to becoming a successful businesswoman and cosmetics model. In 2021, Kim was honored with a place on Forbes America's self-made women list, years after she was featured on the Times list of the 100 most influential people in 2015. During the same year, Kim became the highest paid reality TV star since she had made over $53 million from KUWTK. However, it's safe to say the bulk of her insane wealth stems from multiple brands with her name on them. Kim's major lucrative business is KKW Beauty, which is worth at least $1 billion alone. While KKW. So I pose the question to you all if you got that rich, how would it change you? Obviously, it would change people to a certain degree, but how would it change you going from that to like a billionaire status? I don't know. It's just questions of food to think about. You know what I mean? All right. Um, besides that, I have a weird respect for them uh, too. It's not like I hate them. I watched their new show, of course, because it's like crack uh, or a train wreck. You can't look away. And anyway, let me know what you think.